Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Shuffle Podcast. This is episode 128. We're the Cuckoo Shuffle, guys. I'm Joe. I'm Dave. I'm Sarah. Now, I'm the only healthy one here today. <laughs> Log in. Sarah goes, I don't feel well. And I'm like, all right. And Dave's like, yeah, I also don't feel well. I'm like, well, fuck. <laughs> so if they drop dead during this episode. I don't like that joke. Sorry. If they pack up something during this episode. It'd be like that. Um, I've been watching nonstop the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial all week long. Like, like it's your job? Like it's my job to, to watch it. Yeah, it's, 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 and I don't give a fuck about like court or famous people that much. I like Johnny Depp a lot. Um, I watched Aquaman. <laughs> I watched Aquaman. It's the only Amber Heard thing I know of. Um, but that's what I, she's in. Yeah. I thought she was just some rando. No, no, no. She's she's an actress. She's been in some stuff. Oh. Um, what's happening here? <laughs> let's just let's just take a second. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who are not watching, uh, it appears as though <laughs> our father has entered Dave's room and is having a conversation. Dave has elected to mute his mic. And you can see my dad rocking the, the jeans and the plaid shirt. And welcome back, Dave. I don't people bug me. <laughs> Anyways. It's like 4 o'clock, 4.30, don't come into my room. Get a sign. I did at one point. I just oh. took it down. Um, Is that a anyway. sign to tell people to not come into your room? No, like, I was like, yo, we're recording podcast. Like, don't knock. Shut the hell up, yeah. Like, <laughs> like leave me alone. Honestly, you know, 24-7, leave me alone, please. But, like, you know. <laughs> the note said all of this, Sarah. <laughs> yeah. Did it? Um, yeah, it no. said all those words that he just said. Oh. No, no. But anyways, like I was saying, I've been watching the uh, the trial nonstop right. all week long, and it is so fascinating to me. And I I can't wrap my head around it. Like I literally I like listen to it while I'm driving into work, and then my walk into work I don't listen to music. I listen to the trial, and then right right walk. up until the moment I clock in, I am listening to this trial, and it's just the most fascinating shit in the world. But it's also like the most. Dude, it makes me want to. It makes me want to hit a wall <laughs> with with some of these, like with what I see on TikTok. Oh yeah. Um, this is where I mostly like. I did watch it. Like the first time I started watching it was because I was on YouTube and I saw this. And I'm like, oh, there's a trial going on. It was like day six. I'm like, yeah. Oh shit. And I was like, okay, I'll watch some. And then I've seen some. So I've watched this a couple more times and I've seen stuff on TikTok and the way they ask questions, it's like, it's like beating a dead horse. Like how many times do you have to ask the same question? There we go. That's a little bit better. Sorry. Well, was... part, of, part of me thinks it is that lawyer is just really not that great. Oh my God. Like, if we're talking about the guy who always says hearsay. Lawyer? Yeah. He's <laughs> fucking so stupid. But, and then there was the one time where he was like, oh, uh, like, please don't take all day to answer. Like, we're trying to, like, respect the court's time. And Johnny Depp was like, well, you didn't respect the court's time when you just looked for a document for five minutes. Yeah. Like, yeah that was no idea what, like, you were looking for. So, like, part of me thinks, like, he might just not be the best. Yeah. He's... Um, not saying that I would do any better. Oh, God, no. I would. But, I, but like, honestly, though, I'm going to be honest. After watching this guy for five, six days, I feel like a monkey with half a brain could probably do a little bit better of a job than this guy. <laughs> is is this just Johnny getting questioned? Does Amber get questioned at all? I haven't seen her get questioned at all. I don't think he's going to take the stand. Yeah, I don't know that it's... I th Didn't they have closing arguments? No. Or am I wrong? No, this is going on for, I think it's like five weeks total. Damn. Yeah. Dude, I wish I got called into court for that. Right? 
But like, I, like you're like you're sitting there, and there's just like random people in the background, right? Like they just let anybody into the fucking courthouse. Is this in LA or no? It's in Virginia. Yeah, Virginia. Why is that in Virginia? I don't know. But yeah, I guess they just you can just fucking. I like almost Google to like, how do I get tickets to Johnny Depp's court case? (laughs) They don't sell tickets. I'm sure like, I'm sure you just walk up. There's probably like a, a waiting list. Of people trying to get in to witness this thing. Um, somebody laughed a little too loud the other day, and the judge threatened to kick them out. I was like, what damn. Yeah, what? Uh, yeah. I, I would get laughed. I would get kicked out so fast. What do they do? I did notice one time, every time they take a break, they all stand and then they look to the right or We're left. Watching the jury leave. Oh. Yeah. Because you have Why? to basically suck the jury's cock yeah. in order to win your trial. So <laughs> you have to like, so you literally they all just like watch them leave. Like, all right, we're gonna yeah. You, st- you stand up and you say thank you so much for your time. Sips, you know, you civil servants. They're people who did, you know, you and me could be fucking in the jury. We couldn't be fucking in the jury. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, Jesus. but uh, they were like, thank you so much for you know for being here for watching over or like deciding over this court case, and and then as they come back in. Like everybody gets out and they're like, "Are we ready for the jury?" And they're like, "Yeah, we're ready." And the you know, jury walks back and everyone's like, "Oh." Even though the jury is basically, as far as I know, supposed to just go based off the facts they're presented with, you know, if you're not That's sucking, a go little, off. if you're not sucking a little dick in the process, they're probably not going to pick your side. <laughs> I mean, Joe, there's literally nothing that is said. Nobody says anything. They all just get up and look. Right. What I'm saying is the jury is disrespectful. Yeah. It's like, a, it's like a courtroom etiquette type yes, thing. Yes, I like get the that. same thing when you stand when the judge comes in. Uh-huh. And you're also like yeah. when you're answering questions, they are they they tell you as like a witness on the stand, don't talk to the lawyer asking you the yeah. question. Direct your answer to the jury. the jury. Like you are you the the people asking the questions, they're just fucking there. You're talking to the jury. The jury decides this person's fate. You know what I think is kind of wild is like to, with, I just really hurt myself, but um, <laughs> if a lawyer says something and then it's objected to, and then- I'm not gonna forget it. I'm gonna be honest. I like it. <laughs> and then it's the stand. And then they're just like, the jury will disregard the comment. Like you, but you already heard it. Yeah. If you heard yeah. let so me like, tell you right now, if I ever get summoned for jury duty, you better hope I can't make it to court. Or that I get asked to fucking leave. Because I have I am a very biased person one way or another. And, and I will be. Like if I if I got selected to be part of this jury that's gonna go down in history, I might add for this case, mm-hmm. I would I'd be like, oh, bet I'm over like Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, Johnny Depp wins. I don't even have to hear the. I don't have to have to be there. Johnny Depp wins. <laughs> like fuck Amber Heard. Super she can ethical. suck a dick. Like Johnny Depp well, wins. That's it. I. I mean, right and that's away only, going that's into only it. been accentuated after the five six days that I've been watching this. Johnny Depp wins. I mean, like yeah, you're also listening to tons of evidence. Oh yeah, and Johnny Depp wins. And the fact that like she curated a video like edited a video and sent it to tmz and like it's just i saw something where it was like it was everyone was so quick to take her side Uh when the video was edited and put together and sent to tmz and now that this is like all like obviously a trial and johnny depp has gathered so much evidence of unedited things and now it's like people are still can be like oh like it was mutual (laughs) <laughs> the, first time I, the first time I saw Amber Heard or ever heard of her was because of Aquaman because I was I like even know oh. she, I thought she was just some rando I didn't even no. know she was the actress well she's I mean yeah but I don't think she's that big she's like, been I've in only ever things, seen her but but like I saw her in Aquaman and I was like this chick's hot and then Ben goes not incorrect <laughs> and Ben goes oh yeah that's that's Johnny Depp's ex-wife or wife I think it was ex-wife at the time. I think so, yeah. And I go, oh, no shit. So I looked up and I went, yeah, ex-wife. He goes, and then um, I saw some things and I'm like, oh, she's like, there's like some shit going on with them. So, yeah. And then 
you know, four years later, five years later, whatever. Here the fuck we are. They're like, they're like, I'm like, okay, well, only thing I got on her is that she played in a movie that was all right. And I like all of Johnny Depp's movies. So <laughs> oh, Johnny Depp wins. <laughs> so my bias was Johnny. And then hearing all this stuff, I was like, okay, well, it seems like she's a little bit psycho. But ultimately, I, I get your point, Sarah, of like, like, how are you just expected to forget something that was said? Yeah. Like, I mean, like, like when I'm they asked for something to be stricken from the record, I'm like, yeah. I can't, I, I heard him well, say that he murdered her. Like, I can't, yeah. I can't forget that. Yeah. No, I'm agreeing that I think that that is arguably one of the hardest parts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Of being a juror is to like, forget that you had heard that. Yeah. I don't, when yeah, it could be no like, and, and outside of that too, of like, like motivation like the when like the questioning lawyer is like questioning the witness like they could they like get some jabs in there to like get a reaction that like have nothing to do with the case which is like that's why the other lawyer will object and be like what are you doing and then yeah. they'll say like, withdrawn and it's just like not supposed to matter but like he stayed i guess because it's hearsay but like hearsay. how are you supposed to like forget i don't i genuinely don't know i, I think that it's just like it, it's like like when you you know you you get you get in there and you swear to you know tell the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth yeah so help me God even though you know separation of church and state but whatever the who the fuck is it's about the shit shit about that anymore <laughs> but like I don't know it's so like if I lied in court who's gonna know if I just swore on a Bible to tell the truth I mean your own ethical standards I don't give a fuck about ethics. Okay. <laughs> like, so what happens if they, if they, well, one, if somebody tells me to forget something that they're like, objection, and then they're like, okay, yeah, forget that. Dave would be like, I'm like, supposed to be remembering all this other shit. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the one thing I remember because now it's stuck out over everything else. Yeah, absolutely. It was like, hey, forget that. I'm like, oh, not happening now. Because <laughs> you oh, just well, told me to forget it. Now it's ingrained in my memory forever. Um, But like, what if, okay, let's just like, Someone was like, hey, did you see Mr. Smith stab, you know, Bobby Joe? Mm. And I was like, no. And then there's a video of me seeing <laughs> getting <laughs> stabbed like and the video pans to you going, wow, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> like I think that's like, um, what is it called? Obstruction of justice. So I like go to prison. Or like, not, you can't, like you can't on, you can't lie on the stand. It's like not something you're like. Yeah. Okay, but like what just, I'm saying is like if they don't have like proof that I'm lying. Yeah, see, I would never trust that. I would think that they know everything. Yeah. And I'm just gonna have to tell them. Or like the other thing, right? So like let's say like I was like, I want to testify on behalf of let's just say for this example, Amber Heard, right? Like I'm like, I want to testify on the behalf of her that she was beaten by Johnny Depp, right? And they go, okay, perfect. I've got some evidence. I tell them some shit. I get up on the stand and I go, she's a fucking bitch. She hits him. He does not hit her. What are they, like, what are they, they just go, yeah, <laughs> like, what I do mean, they do in that moment? I don't think that would happen. Like, I can't I mean, imagine. Can. I, don't, I feel I mean, like, I feel like you just be better will. off testifying on behalf of Johnny Depp then as opposed to like lying and say, I want to testify on behalf of Ben Heard and then fucking like Ben. Being a character witness for, yeah. I, I don't know. I mean. Yeah. I don't know. Shit. It's wild. Like, I just don't, I guess I don't, there's probably like laws to keep all this stuff from happening. Yeah. I, just, I feel like it's really easy to screw over. I mean, you can. It's all, I mean, it's also really easy to get screwed over is like, so I just finished watching Inventing Anna and um one of her friends was you know had whatever against her and was on the stand because she like owed her sixty five thousand dollars and she didn't pay her back when you get cross questioned yeah cross examined cross examined, cross -examined like they can screw you over too like that could be somebody's chance to like screw over the witness yeah so anything can really happen as long as you have a good lawyer. Yeah, it's too much for my brain to wrap around. Yeah, it's crazy. But uh, based on what I've seen, I can't imagine that the jury's gonna go anywhere else. Now I, I get that like 
So I think with the thing that a lot of people, including myself, keep forgetting about this is that it's just a, he is suing her for defamation of character. So like all that her lawyers have to prove is that he, his reputation was not ruined um, by the thing that she wrote about him. Mm -hmm. Whereas his lawyers have to prove that his reputation was ruined by that. And like, if the jury decides, well, it wasn't that thing that she wrote that ruined his, his reputation. It was so many other things. Then like she ultimately wins the trial, which is, which is stupid because she's a fucking bitch. And, but I also, and she like, ruined his life. Yeah. I mean, all the media attention that this has gotten and like all of the clips that have come out about it being so clear that like she's in the wrong yeah part of me is like yeah obviously like she is in the wrong like johnny should win for defamation but like either way it was proven that none of the things that she had said were true like even if the court ruling isn't what they want it to be yeah either either way she's fucked yeah but like he deserves to win yeah yeah of course but either way she's fucked yeah either way she's fucked but uh, yeah, it's been it's been riveting, La- uh, laughable. Uh, you know, brought me to almost tears. By so, laughing? No, no, no. The, like it's made me laugh, and it's almost brought me to tears. You... There's been some deep shit in this trial. Are strange. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen you you watch five minutes of Amber's lawyer asking anybody anything and or obje- objecting to hearsay, and you'll start laughing. Because no, it's just I get the laughing hilarious. part. Yeah, well, but like, oh my god, when fucking the audio recording of Johnny Depp like g- getting into a screaming match with her and her saying like, "Go ahead, take this to court. You're never gonna win because you're a man." Essentially, and I'm summarizing what she said. That's not what she said, but she was like, "Go ahead, tell them that you're a victim of domestic abuse and see whose side they pick." And he was like, "I am," and I was like fuck like and you just like see like like his face he looks defeated Mm. and he keeps talking about he was ready to give up he he was like he goes if i had stayed in this marriage any longer i essentially he was saying i would have killed myself and i'm just like that's fucking insane that in 15 months of marriage a year and three months they were married and in that that amount of time he was ready to fucking end his own life and that's why you don't get married (laughs) I think it's like you don't become famous. Mm-mm. No, I could easily not be famous. Marry a psycho. Yeah, that's still true. Now well, no, you don't get married. Bingo. Bingo, bingo, bongo. <laughs> Just have friends. Just have friends. Yeah. Just have friends you can hang out and have you can have your solo times. You can have your group times. You can get food. You can shoot the shit. Then it's just not Who are you like, sleeping with, Dave? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you guys see my Instagram story the other day when I was watching the the trial? No. No. I posted my Instagram story. I was like, new drinking game idea. Anytime oh, somebody yes. objects to hearsay, okay. take a shot. <laughs> I got like five or six replies to that story talking about how fucked up somebody would be after that. It's like, yeah, that's why I thought about it. Because it's a fucking genius idea. Every other word out of that, out of somebody's mouth, not even just that lawyer, but it's out of somebody's mouth is objection, hearsay. I'm like, yeah, that's all any, That's all anybody is. Sarah, are you okay? No, I really <laughs> there's just, there's you know. just tears pouring out of her eyes. So emotional. Eyes. <laughs> I can't help it. And it's just this one. Oh. I'm fine. Just continue. Pretend like nothing's happening. But, uh, yeah, that's all anything is. Like, you can't, like, all anybody, it's all word of mouth. And if that's not admissible in, in, a, in, a, in a courtroom, then, then nothing is. Right. If, you, if, you just, if you just swore you're not going to lie, then, then you should be able to say what somebody said to you without it being hearsay. If I'm like, I know they said this to me because they said it to me. But it, then it becomes he said, she said. <laughs> If there's no other witness to cooperate what you said. 
And also, he you could easily fumble like what he said exactly. With it being or however they said. Happened. So it's like, okay, so then why don't you just... But what I think is so wild is like all of these recordings are from her. Like she was obsessed with the aspect of like recording him. Yeah. Because to her, she's always right, which is such like a narcissistic tendency that yeah. it was like, see, I recorded you. Like everyone's going to hear this, but like really she's... Yeah. Oops. I think they should just have like... <laughs> three like whatever questions that they're gonna ask like let's just say it was like oh joe told me this and they're like objection you're saying and i'm like okay he's sitting right next to me like there should be like three witnesses on the stand and be like hey joe what did you tell me yeah like, well i told him this see i wasn't lying he told me that <laughs> Just have whoever, like, whatever question, they're like, oh, how'd you hear about this? Oh, well, doctor this told me. Okay, well, then bring him in. If you're going to say it's hearsay, bring him in. Yeah. So it's let's, not hearsay. Let's get let's get both sides of this hearsay then. Yeah. And he comes in. Oh, yeah, I told him that. Oh, boom. Yeah. My other right. objection that I like is uh, asked and answered. When they ask a question that they – and, like, this one, it's like a, it's like a very, like, gray area of – what qualifies as asked and answered in my opinion it would be like i'm trying to think of a question that i would ask that is also me answering that exact question um i can't think of one but like there's been several of those where they're just like they ask a question and they're like is that correct and they're like asked and answered you you answered your own question i'm like well then who gives a fuck if the person answers if they answered their own question if they answer it doesn't fucking matter anymore yeah these people got no life yeah they just say ob orders. objection to everything. There's also I feel like they just have so much information on those papers. It's like the f I, I, I'm just gonna read whatever. It straight is insane. I, I don't I'm like. I'm just gonna read whatever, and then if something comes up, they're like, "Yeah, objection. That's a good, good objection. Good on you. You know, way to pay attention. Yeah, it's crazy. Maybe they just do that to see if people are paying attention. Yeah, keep people on their toes. Um. Going back to last week's episode, mm. when I explained my day drinking right. and how to, did not, um, did not work out in any, like the food that I got, out of the food that I said I'd get, I got pizza. Okay. That is it. They didn't get the sub, they didn't get the chicken fingers. I got boneless chicken wings. Close. I think. Um, and wait, did I? And I had a burger mm. uh, that was made on a like a little grill, like a propane grill. But um, I'm gonna run you through the day quickly. Okay. Left right from work, about an hour, three minute drive. Missed my Very exit. Specific. <laughs> Missed my exit. Mm. Went like 15 minutes out of my way. And then, so I was supposed to get there at like 6.15, I think, in the morning. Mm -hmm. I got there about like 6.36. So like 20 minutes out of my way, I guess. Yeah. I think it was something like that. Maybe it was 6.20. I was supposed to get there. Either way. So I come in, park my car, walk in the house. And thank God that they left the door unlocked. Because I was like, hey, leave the door unlocked. He's like, all right, but if we forget, you know how to get into the window, right? I'm like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm like, let me just climb through the window at 6.30 in the morning. Yeah, that's not nobody questions sketchy me. at all. So I get in, go right to bed. And then by like 10.30, I think I was up. We were just kind of slow rolling. Some people like came out. They were like, oh, you did, you did come this early. I'm like, yep, I was here. Nice, bright and early. Sun was up when I got here. <laughs> um, and right away, I was like, oh, look, there's a half half a bottle of wine on the table already. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do this. So I took my smart water bottle, cap, oh my God. put it on there, and started drinking. <laughs> and I was like, it works. It doesn't go on quite right. There's a little um, 
it's like high on one side, but as long as you don't tip it on that side, it won't leak on you. Um, but it, but it did work. So I'm pretty sure I drank like, I know I drank at least three quarters of a bottle of wine because there was a half of one and then I had a full one that opened and is, was gone too. But I know Will had some, I don't know how much he had to drink. Um, so then I had my burger. Um, we were outside, uh, was on a ripstick scooter, which kind of messing around, played yard pong, tennis balls and like big, like pails or big, like sand pails. Mm -hmm. Um, got a t-shirt, okay. played some darts, no shots whatsoever. No shots. No bomb <laughs> shot. Did not get well bomb shot. Did not have any banana bread shots, which I'm pissed about. Disappointing. Um, and then there was, I don't know, like, there's a blank spot in there somewhere. <laughs> it's like, you know, I was like, okay, I was in this room at one point, then I was in this room, then I was downstairs, whatever. Skip to where I was like, oh, Will, let's get some food. Let's get a Wegmans pizza. Order the Wegmans pizza, delivery. Before, I think before we got it, somebody had called my name, said, hey, Sharky, come down here. Your boneless wings are here. And I was like, bro, I forgot I ordered boneless wings. So Literally you had like, ordered a pizza... <laughs> After I ordered, After boneless, ordered wings. boneless wings. And then I like, who knows, probably like 20 minutes later, I was like, yo, Will, let's get some pizza. Because after we ordered it, she was like, hey, your food's here. I'm like, son of a bitch. <laughs> Didn't touch the pizza at all. Um, at one point threw up. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> But it was early enough to where I got back to the drinking. <laughs> it's a boot and rally. My first so boot proud. and rally. I am um, so, so proud. <laughs> uh, I am so disappointed. That is a true friend. <laughs> that is a true friend right there. I am um, so proud of you. Because I have to do it. that as soon as you said, because I saw that video, Sarah sent me a video mm -hmm. of, of a guy like, oh, after you throw up and you come back to the party, like, <laughs> you know, you're just like oh it's up. i was like that was literally me <laughs> because i got up because i was feeling like pretty shitty for a while like i took um oh i took a nap on on um on That's uh a mistake dude i was well you try getting fucking like three hours of sleep and then drinking from you know this and i'm like okay i need to like just lay down like i was just like okay fell asleep maybe an hour and I woke up to the one girl or Tom I was on Tom's bed and he told me this after he was like oh I saw you I started laughing he goes to grab the one girl he's like hey you want to see something funny she said yeah comes into the room and goes look, look at this guy comes out to me smacks me on the face and was like Dave and I was just kind of like and then just went back to bed <laughs> And then got up, everybody was just out there, whatever. And then I was like, okay, I definitely need to throw up. So I just kind of laid in the bathroom for until I was like leaning over, head almost hitting the water probably. That's usually how it happens for me. I don't know why. And then I was like, all right, I'm good to go. That was, and it was, it was a, an aggressive. Oh, it always is. An aggressive, always chunky, is. feeling okay. every bit. <laughs> mine go <laughs> no, i also was, hate that word i hate that word it was a okay yeah that word that i said like i could just feel every bit of food <laughs> just i was like <sighs> <laughs> it was aggressive which is probably so you know could be the reason why my <laughs> Because my throat started hurting, you know, the next day. Yeah, violently throwing up will, will do some damage. <laughs> but um, I got up and then I did the thing. Um, I was like, "Oh, hey, yo, what's going on?" You know. <laughs> and and you have one drink after that, and it's like you're buzzed right away. I'm yeah. like, oh, 
okay, cool. It's not like I had to like catch up. Back up, yeah. Because you never want to play catch up. No, no that's how you end up dying. Yeah, that's a dangerous game right there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then I slept on the floor. Uh, because my fucking spot was taken. Mm. Will told me he was like, claim your spot on the couch now because somebody's might take it. Yep. Finally, night was over. 1 a.m., 2 a.m. Two people on the couch. I'm like, I guess I'm sleeping on the floor. Slept in the kitchen. My hip was like bruised in the morning because it was it was just like hurt. What? Let me think of something. Go ahead. Continue. Sorry. Um. So I was up at like... 8 30 then the one dude was like hey we're gonna watch f1 formula one and i was like yeah i'll watch it I, i've never watched it before but i got nothing else to do then i was like i'm sitting there and i'm like zoning out i'm like i am so tired he's like you can go take a nap on my bed if you want i'm like oh yes so i slept in two different people's beds, and it was so comfortable i woke up at 11.40, I had my ear, uh, my headphones in, just had music playing. I crashed just like right away. And I was going to set an alarm for like 11.45 because mimosas was at noon. And I was like, just in case anybody wants to go, like it seemed like nobody was really going to go. I just woke up. I didn't, I forgot to set the alarm. I just woke up at 11.45. I go. Body this, wanted mimosas. <laughs> this seems like a sign. <laughs> so I was like, okay, walk downstairs. Everybody was kind of like, I think, um, I don't think there was anybody in the living room. I was just kind of chilling out. And then people came out and we walked outside, 75 degrees, oh, beautiful day, God. cans everywhere <laughs> on the porch. There was a house party, but like, like not in the house, but like across the street, there was like a backyard party, I guess you would say. This place was trashed. I mean, it was it was like crushed. I mean, I just I didn't go over there at all during the night, the day or night, and um, it was just cans everywhere. Uh, I think. God damn! Who 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 we got? Looks like the same jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Good old dad. <laughs> How can we still hear him? I didn't hear him. I just, I definitely just heard him. No. I don't know. That was weird. I asked if I wanted to go to Olive Garden. Uh, did I you go, say yes? No, I'm mm. recording. Oh, they're going <laughs> right now? Well, I would assume, but even if they go like a little bit later, I'm, I don't, I don't like to rush. Yeah. Cause then I'll go get food at like six, six thirty, and then I'll, they'll like take fucking half an hour to bring my food out, and then I have to scarf it down, drive home. No, right. So the house was trashed. House was trashed. Whatever. Um, we we clean everything up, like our side, like our like the house we were at. We touch that fucking house. Um, and then I was like, well, I want to. Um, it was warm, and I wanted to change. I was still wearing my crew neck and I was like, on the ride home. I, I don't want to be like sweating. So I want to, I had my um, Hawaiian shirt. I put that on, put a different pair of shorts on and, and Tom goes, Oh, so you're, we're going to jug red jug, which is where the mimosas are. And I go, are we? He was like, you're not, you're not putting that shirt on. And then not going to mimosas. <laughs> like, you, like, what were you thinking? I was like, I don't know. I was just changing. He was like, dude. And then Will was like, well, I guess I'll go change. So he tossed a Hawaiian shirt on. And um, so we got mimosas. And I don't think I've ever um, had a better buzz in my life than a mimosa buzz. <laughs> because. It me oh, it's the best. It was just because it was one. And it also could have just been, like, the good weather. Because, like, yes. I was so, I was, like, good mood. As soon as I was, like, oh, my God, it is so nice out here. I could be outside all day. Um, so it was, it was, the doors were open in the bar. It was nice. I was playing music. Um, 
on like their uh touch tunes like thing whatever yeah karaoke, not karaoke but uh we played some pool two slices of breakfast pizza um which wasn't bad any breakfast pizza i had i've never liked it this was this was all right uh probably had like nine mimosas and um and then got back to their house took another nap God. which was phenomenal again and that that nap was just like on the couch just like sitting like this and i woke up and i was like oh, i gotta i gotta get going <laughs> but uh yeah that was my day or weekend yeah i was gonna say like that's uh, <laughs> it's a, it's a was, long day that was my weekend yeah went home helped tyler move uh, some furniture yeah 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 and then I think we played some video games. Well, I'm uh, disappointed that you threw up, Dave, but... Uh, I'm proud of you. Sounds like you had a good weekend. Yeah, I, I knew for a fact that... Um, like, me saying, like, last week, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to throw up. Like, I knew I was lying right through my teeth. Yeah, I was wow. Because I was like, there's no shot. Cause, like, I think we need to reframe it. Because, like, yes, you threw up but you kept going. So it's not like you- <laughs> This is a true partier right here. Partier right here. Oh, it's and also- Literally <laughs> alcoholism. <laughs> literally at one point- Bye, was, bye, <laughs> bye, bye. Was, oh my literally, Lord. Literally at one point, I was drinking, um, I was drinking um, liquid IV. Uh -huh. I was like, okay, I want to get a water in me. Nothing better than liquid IV. It's like three water bottles. Yeah. So I made a strawberry one and I'm drinking it, just sipping, you know, just sipping on it, walking around, whatever. And the one guy, he, he sees me drinking this water. He goes, he goes, what is that? And I go, it's water. He just gets it out of my hand. Or I think he either just took it out of my hand and then opened the door and threw it outside. He's like, no. Not in this house. <laughs> or he smacked it out of my hand and was like, yeah. And then he then he threw it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, hey, Sarah. I just want to clarify the only reason I came back is because it's a new week of trivia and I want to win. So that's the only reason I came back. And I, I think that's a valid reason. And I have no further contributions to the episode. Yes, you do. Uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll repeat myself. Um, I was drinking liquid IV. Mm -hmm. At one point, because I was like, I want some water. want to get some water in my system. And the one guy, he was like, smacked it out of my hand. Because he was like, what is that? I was like, water. He's like, no. Smacked it out of my hand, picked it up, and threw it outside. He was like, nah, not in this house. And then I got it the next morning. I was like, all right. No, you need to have water. That's important. Yeah. But I didn't feel like going to get it. So even though it was like probably 20 steps. Too far. I was like, well... My, my my drink is closer so. so there's that that's fair i started drinking last night at like one o'clock in the morning it's just like i like finished what was i doing last night i think i was just playing video games with tyler oh, and okay. i got off and my roommate lauren because shannon's on a cruise right now so i've just spent the past x amount of days in my office doing nothing work office that's it and um also sarah there's no way that your microphone is connected again um but so i walked out of the office last night after i got off uh the game and lauren's sitting out in the living room she's got a whole bottle a whole bottle of vodka like a like a fucking whole bottle <laughs> and i was like taking shots oh. She, goes, she was like, yeah. I go, you didn't invite me to, to drink at all? She goes, you want to drink? I was like, I mean, I got a couple of beers. I'll have a couple of beers. I ended up drinking, like, I think I had one of my, like, 16-ounce Coronas. Um, more? Yeah. Um, and then I thought I had another. I don't remember if I had anything else. Either way, I was, it was, like, 1.30 in the morning. I And then I whatever else I had, it was, like, 3.30 by the time I stopped. And I was like... I gotta fucking go to bed. It's 3 30 in the fucking morning. <laughs> and I did not go to bed. I came back into the office and watched YouTube videos for another two hours. <laughs> and then I fell asleep. 
But the thing I thought about while you were telling your story, Dave, is I, the other day, fell asleep in this chair. And Why don't I you like just use the, the futon. Well, because the, the computer's right here and the futon's right there. I know, but like if you if you're gonna be just like watching something, one, I would like toss it up on the TV. Yeah, I could do that. I do have YouTube on there. <laughs> I, exactly. I knew you did. I knew <laughs> just, you it comes down to laziness. The computer's here and I'm already sitting here, and the futon's all the way behind me. Be comfortable. That's I'm comfortable in this chair. Okay, but I would, way, I'm sure chair. I would be more comfortable on the futon, but I'm lazy. Right. But so anyway, so I fell asleep in the chair, right? I was watching videos, I fell asleep in the chair. And when I fall asleep in this chair, I fall asleep with like my ankles crossed, you know, like legs extended, ankles crossed, right? Yeah, how you how you'd normally fall asleep sitting down. Like yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> sitting, just like that. And I woke up, I don't know how much later, but I woke up and I guess I just like hadn't moved from the crossed ankle extended leg position that the bottom, I think it was the foot on the bottom, was like just like dead like just, like mine as well not even had a foot and i went to stand up and my ankle was in pain because i had just been resting my other foot on top of it for so long and i took a step and my i felt like i was going to just fall over my whole fucking foot was again just numb as can be ankle hurt and i'm like hobbling to let the dog outside <laughs> so yeah, if i fall asleep in a in a weird position with my ankles or yeah. i'm sitting too long with a weird position of like because sometimes i'll just oh wait no what do i do I like cross like if I'm sitting up like this, sometimes I'll cross my feet under my chair. Mm -hmm. Um, and like if I do that for too long, I I wish I I didn't have feet sometimes, you know. <laughs> after <laughs> after the pain is there. Yeah. So or like done. when you if you like sit on your leg and it goes numb. I can't do and that. You, you're when you try and walk with a numb leg and it's like the shooting pain all the way up. Awful. right away as soon as i try and put my 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 leg underneath me it's like no your knees don't do that <laughs> so just stop <laughs> and then you try and take another step but it's like the will to get your leg to move is so just non-existent and it hurts so much yeah uh, so funny but that, i don't know what you said but that made me think of my ankle going down the other day um i don't know me falling asleep somewhere yeah one of the four spots that i said uh, kitchen couch and two different beds yeah oh so i think you said when you fell asleep on the kitchen floor your hip was like oh yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah oh yeah that would have fucked my ankle up sarah what about you what about um, your weekend it was good i um you don't sound confident in that no i'm trying to remember what i did oh okay um oh i went home on friday from the city and had dinner with my mom and my best friend and her mom for my best friend and her mom's birthday because they're like four days apart um we went to the melting pot um that's like fondue right yeah which is like all I thought it was but they do chocolate as well naturally um isn't and correct me, Sarah, you'll know more about this than I will. Isn't fondue just like the the act of melting something in a bowl and sticking other treats I in it? I think so. Okay. Which is leads me to the part where like I didn't really enjoy <laughs> it is that you have to cook all of your food. Yeah, everything comes uncooked. You just like dip it in the hot fucking... So I hate that. I hate that. Yeah, I don't want to have to do the work like at the restaurant. Like, if I'm going to go out to dinner, like, itch, like, I could stay home and cook my own food. Yeah. And how much are you paying to cook your own food there? Um, I'm not going to disclose, but the melting pot prices are universal. But so we did the cheese, the fondue, like, the cheese. And then we, there was the four of us, and we each got, like, different things to cook. And they're like, leave it in for two to four minutes for this and four to six minutes for this. Yeah, and it's just, I'm, like, a like, lot of work. Like, I get so nervous, like, cooking, like, raw meat at home. Like, I don't, like, I have, like, a, and I just didn't enjoy it. It really stressed me out. I was super overwhelmed. Um, so what do you mean you stick it in the hot thing? So, they, like, so they, like, bring. Hot where, so you choose, like, how you want your food cooked, like, what you want it cooked in. Like, you could grill it. Like, they have, like, a, a top that comes out that you can grill. Or they have, like, a broth 
portion and then they turn the heat all the way up on the bottom and you have like your fondue fork and you stick like this the uncooked steak on the end of it and then you stick it in the pot and it cooks and then you take it out and they have like 12 different sauces which I enjoyed because I love big sauce gal big sauce gal I love having like eight different sauces when I eat anything yeah so I really appreciated their array of sauces but like I would cut it open and I'd be like oh too rare or like that's definitely not cooked all the way through and like I would just get nervous um but it was fun um it was the first time I'd like ever done that portion because I've only ever gone for the cheese and the chocolate I've never done the dinner portion um so that was fun. That was what I did on Friday. Um, Saturday, um, in my hometown, a new brewery opened, like, literally in the middle of town. That's, like, walking distance from, all like, my house and, like, all of my home friends' houses. And it was, like, opening weekend. So we went there, um, hung out with a lot of people I went to high school with that I have not spoken to in, like, eight years. Um, so that was, you know, really... I, actually it was genuinely it was nice it was really fun um but just like overall I was like wow there are so many people here that I like know but haven't spoken to in forever and um I do get like I'm I'm always genuine when I invite people to things but I was 100% telling everybody you should come to Manhattan like come hang out in my apartment like we can go out when you come to Manhattan yeah that was definitely what I decided. That's to like tell. one of those things that you do. It's like when I go back home and I see people that I don't talk to and I'm just like, Oh, if you're ever down in Orlando, like hit me up, I'll get you. Like, we'll go to Disney. And I'm just like, I don't want to fucking do anything with you. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like telling them where I am and like how easy it is. I'm like, it's so simple. Like just come anytime you want. And I'm, and I do part of me, like really does mean it. Like if anybody ever, yeah, if they me, did, I would be like, Oh yeah, absolutely. If they were in the city, I'd be like, Oh yeah. Like I'll come meet you at what, like wherever you are. Like, that's fine. But like they, these people probably definitely think like, she's a psycho. Um, but that was what I did Saturday. Or they think you're just desperate to have people come and visit you. <laughs> yeah, because I PSA to all my own home friends who, you know, probably don't listen to this. Fuck you guys. Because I have a <laughs> <Wow>. nice, <laughs> I I adore you all. I do. But I have a perfectly nice apartment in the city, and you bitches always want to hang out in Westwood. So fuck you guys, because you never come. <laughs> so fuck you. And she just um, went street, Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> New York's really getting to her. <laughs> oh my god! How I flipped off an uh, an, an NYPD officer. Oh yeah, go ahead tell that oh, story. Yeah, 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 How did you forget yeah, yeah. about that last week? Um, because I'm trying to not remember that I did it. Um, I was. There was the poster to... child for fuck the police. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I am not. He's just really pissing me off. So, um. Sarah, do you want me to not make this part the clip of the... Uh... Yeah, don't do that. Um, please, don't do I won't, that. I won't, I won't, I won't. Um, Unless it's really funny, then... <laughs> so I was driving back into the city from my, my office. Yeah. And the light... So I'm going to try to explain it without, like, giving away where I live. The light to turn onto my street where my parking garage is is a very short green arrow very short green arrow you have yeah. to maximize all of your time and this police car uh, so you you make the left turn which is a, a another green arrow from the main street i'm just gonna call it main street you have to take That's a fine. left off of main street to then have to take another left to turn onto my street. Both are very, very quick green arrows. And it doesn't help that there are thousands of people who don't recognize that off of Main Street, you have a green arrow. So they just think it's their fucking turn to walk in the middle of the sidewalk. Newsflash, it's not, okay? It's my car's <laughs> turn to drive, okay? I am, I am a heathen. When that light turns green, I am banging on the horn. I'm like, go bitches, go get the fuck out of my way. I'm making it through this green arrow. So I make it through the first green arrow off of main street onto the street to then turn onto mine. There's a police car 
parked in the left turning lane to get onto my street. Parked. Because these bitches needed to go to the fucking restaurant, quick service, whatever the hell it is. I know exactly what it is, but I'm not giving it away. (laughs) On the corner to get their fucking food. I'm like, you really have to park here in the left turning lane? Like, park on the up. Like, I was livid. I'm trying to get around him because you can. There's the bike lane and then, like, there's where he was parked. And you, I had space to get around him. As the light turns green, he decides to walk in front of my car to get into his car. He's just, like, moseying along, minding his business, holding his fast food bag. And I'm, like, beeping. I'm, like, excuse me. Like, I... You cannot just walk in front of my car. Nope, you can't. You, you can't. You cannot walk in front of my car. You are in a car lane. It's not happening. He's like, you need to wait. Hold on. Like mouthing to me. And I'm like, I'm beeping at him. I'm like, move. Get in the car faster. Get out of the way. <laughs> and he's like, move. And I go, fuck you. And I drive right around him. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> right I drive right around him I make it through the green arrow and I'm like fuck this I was so angry I was so mad now my eyes that's fucking incredible Sarah Uh, you just became like the coolest person I know yeah honestly though you were just like fuck you I'm sick of your bullshit like you're just now like now he's like standing outside like he the door is open yeah and he's having a conversation with his partner through the car with the door open and i'm like do you not because like yeah it inconvenienced me but like there was two other cars that were like partly in the road like trying to like he's not recognizing that he's fucking up all of this traffic and like oh i was so angry and then I was like nervous he was gonna follow me and give me a ticket, but I was like, "Fuck that's, this!" I was that's like, "So fucking badass! That's awesome." Well, they literally can't give you a ticket. <laughs> I know. But, I was just then I got scared. Right. Like, the adrenaline he, wore off. He's just a person, right? I mean, so you could flip he, off a cop. He could be. He could be an asshole and say that she was doing something wrong. I'm I sure. Just, like you're just standing there. Yeah, like, that's fucking fucking bullshit. Of like move, get out of the way. Um, and then just yesterday, a, a bike drove into my car. Dro- like, yeah, like, rammed into the side of my car. Um, I had the green arrow, and it was the same the same street. It, this this it is the bane of my existence. Turning onto my street to park my car. This where I am. It's one of like a couple of places that you know. There's like the crosswalk sign where there's the hand and the 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 person to tell you when to cross the street. Yeah. They've also implemented in a lot of places. um, Well, now they have specific bike lanes, like all Yeah, and they add lights to them as well. And they have lights. That they don't follow. Their light was red and my light was green. And I am literally in the middle of the sidewalk, mid-turn, into the side of my car. I rolled my window down. I looked at him and I kept going. I was like, I'm not... You're wrong. You did were wrong. Fall on, did crazy. he fall on the ground? Yeah. That's <laughs> fucking gold. I was like, bye. Oh man. I was like, not my fault. I give it, Dave. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a prediction here. <laughs> Sarah, you might get angry, you might not get angry, and I apologize if you do. I I'm willing to bet that in three when when's your lease up at this place? My lease, I only signed a year lease, so in January. January. Okay, I'll give it, uh, we're in April now. I'm going to say by end of summer, right? Like end, like end of August, early September. You're going to be telling a story on this podcast about how you hit somebody because you got just so pissed off. <laughs> I'm, I'm always, I'm super careful. I know you are. I believe you. That's a really big fear of mine. Like I do, like if there are people who are just being at like asshole New Yorkers and like walking when the light's not their color and like I wait. Like oh, I don't you mean hit, you mean hit somebody with her car. Yeah. Oh, I figured. I, I was. I was thinking. Oh, she. she if out. she gets out of the car and smacks the shit out of somebody, I'll get. I'll <laughs> share. Sarah, I'll give you all the money to my name if you tell a story about how you got out of your car to beat the fuck out of some guy on a bike. No, I like. I'm really careful, but like, I always have. Like, I always and like, if there's people crossing, oh, I'm. I. I've always been a bit of an, an aggressive driver. I've always had a little 
little bit of road rage when I drive, which had subdued um, as I exited college. Let me tell you, it's back and it's worse because of driving in New York City. Me and that horn, best friends, besties. I find myself beeping at people in my small suburban hometown and I'm like, oh, can't do that. Um, but no, I'm very careful. But these I'm people- I'm not saying are, you're, you're going to do it on this. accident. I'm saying you're going to get pissed off and you're going to be like, you know what? Fuck this. You're not going to like murder somebody. No, just I just- going to give a little, you, little knee no, nudge. I will never because- I can buckle the knees a little bit. <laughs> no, I could never live with myself. I'll never do it. Um, also like too much paperwork to ever have to fill That's out. Fair. Like I'm, I would never ever in my life do something like that. that Let me ask you this. Would something? you ever, let's say you saw an asshole on a bicycle. Mm-hmm. And he was, and you knew he was being an asshole, right? Like you saw him doing assholey things. Would you just open your door and, no. you know? <laughs> I no. would. <laughs> no, you would. I would never. I oh, would never. I 100%. If I, if I had like enough like opportunity to open my door and fuck the guy riding the bike, I don't want to fuck the guy riding the bike, but <laughs> I would 100% do it. No, I would never. I would never purposefully do anything like that. Yeah, they piss me off, and yeah, they're annoying. But like, I would never purposefully. Yeah, Joe, you're a psycho. Yeah, well, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> well, that poor person ran into the side of my car. Like, fuck him. But, like, Was there any damage to your car? No. Okay. Wasn't that no tire mark? No. Wasn't a head 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 dent? <laughs> he didn't hit it hard. Like he just like hit my car and then like toppled off of his bike but I was like (laughs) I like I can't even like wrap my head around how it happened like how do you like was it like 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 a t-bone situation I was in the middle of a turn yeah and he just kept riding his bike and he just kept going that's too funny so (laughs) fucking stupid I think Um, I've used my horn on my truck once I would have been like fucking idiot what (laughs) you yeah I don't I don't beep ever I beeped other people's cars. Wait, what? what? Like if I'm in the passenger seat and somebody's taking too fucking oh. long. I will cut your arms off. Never put your hands on my steering wheel. <laughs> yeah, ever. bro. I Have will beep ever... somebody's. They need to put a horn on the passenger side. They could, but. I I mean, I'm pretty liberal with the horn. So yeah. Like, especially in the city because of how quick the lights change. I'm like, I don't have time. Yeah, if you're, if you're not using the horn in the city, you're, you're doing it wrong. I mean, I very rarely, well, prior to living in the city, when I was, like, not really prone to using the horn, um, now it's, like, on the highway. I'm like, fuck you. You cut me off. My, my reactions to people, like, I had, a, I had an intersection one time. <laughs> I was coming home from work, and two cars, like, the light turns green for me. One car goes and cuts me off to turn left. And I was like, oh, cool. And then the other guy's right behind him. And I'm like, it. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? That's all I do. I'm just like, oh, cool. My, yeah. Oh, I get, I get, I get rage. And I'm like, I'm, was, not, a, I'm not a huge, I'm not a huge horn guy. Uh, just because like here, it's like, if you beep the horn, it doesn't fucking matter. Like if you, if you beep the horn in the city, somebody's going to start either. moving. Um, it does not matter either. You might scare somebody. I will say I'm also a really big, I flip a lot of people off. Oh, that's always, always the best. Uh, what I do. I've really tried to start giving thumbs down because I feel like it, it hurts matter. more. You got to fucking flip them off. It, it lets the rage out when you flip them off. I don't flip anybody off in the city though. Oh yeah. Cause you'll get shot. Yeah. Unless they're cops, then you can flip them off. <laughs> yeah. I've never flipped anybody oh, off. But he was in my way. I, I I've, I've flipped a lot of people off, but my big thing Again, down here, I don't use the horn. He's going to get posted on the internet and paint me in a really bad light. Oh, and it's I'm fine. upset about so that. So you flipped off a cop once. He probably des- He did deserve it. After this story, he deserved it. I hope his food was cold. Um, I, again, don't use the horn a lot down here because here it's like fucking, you know, everybody's an idiot anyways. Um, what I do is I just let the rage build up until somebody inevitably cuts me off and then i'm just like no it's fine it's fucking fine i'm not fucking driving anywhere (laughs) just get so angry because i get cut off so much that it's like i don't it's like i'm invisible out there and like it pissed me off more when i was driving the forester because it's a bright red car i'm like i know you see me 
Or like when I'm when I come home and I drive dad's truck, it's a big fucking red truck. I know you see me. Yeah, now I'm red. driving a what? It's the red. Maybe. Because nobody sees red because that's why yeah. it's always getting into an accident. Now I'm now I'm driving a black car and it and it happens. I'm just like whatever. I really like when people like when lanes are merging, I like never get angry. Like if someone like gets right in front of me because like I get a lot of stress when merging when there's like traffic. So I tend to let a lot of people in front of me when merging because I'm like, I know that karma is going to come back when I need. Yeah. To merge the only time I get angry when merging is if I am very, very clearly merging in in front of somebody. I'm like, I have the room to do it and they speed up. Yeah, that's in a way. And I, if I've almost been run off the road way. several times because of that. And I'm just like, what, like what, what are you in a hurry for that me going faster than you is affecting you? That you now have to speed up, get in front of me, and nearly run my ass off the road. Fucking asshat. Yeah, I don't get that much road rage. I do. Unless I'm hitting... And that's because they, red, people like... in Buffalo aren't that bad at driving. They're... Yeah. Compared if to I New York City, I would, pay, I would pay good money, Dave, to see you drive in New York City. Oh my god, I would lose my shit. I feel like <laughs> yeah, because because well, one, I would have uh, like my stress would be all through the roof. It's not that bad, stress wise. If yeah, I can do I, it, anybody can do it. Yeah, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't. I I don't even like driving downtown, like downtown Buffalo. I hate uh, it. Downtown Buffalo is a bit of a weird fucking place to drive anyways well it's just like i can only imagine that new york city is a 10 times worse place to drive because one everybody's riding their bikes everybody's walking and everybody's fucking doesn't give a shit they're just like all right this is my world and you guys are just living in it <laughs> that's what it is Sounds yeah. about right. <laughs> so like <laughs> buffalo it's like okay i just don't like it because i just don't know it well if i knew it like, I knew West Seneca, like, the back of my hand. I know what street goes where. And it's all a fucking cars going either way, not just yeah. one way, one way. One way traffic is the worst thing that we as, we as humans have ever invented. It's like, just fucking let me turn down this road. Yeah, my, my, let me go where I want right to go. <laughs> it's right there. Why do I have to drive five minutes out of the way just to get to the fucking building? Yeah, I... I <sighs> But uh, we talk about like three topics on this podcast overall. 128 episodes in, we've talked about drinking, road rage, and uh, pick a third topic. I don't fucking know. Pretty much drinking and drinking Drink, and driving. Drinking and driving. <laughs> That's what we're talking about on this podcast. <laughs> that is what we talk about. Uh, separate no. th separate things, not at the same time. Yes, we condone safe driving. Safe I'm drinking. Fun. What's that? that? You got a new plant? Is that is it fake? No, it's real. Looks very nice. And that S letter. S letter. Mm -hmm. I want to paint it. As opposed to the letter S. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. That's the letter S. And I got a new picture frame. And I hung some more stuff up on this wall that you can't see. Mm. Yeah, there's significantly less echo every week. And I got rugs. I think that helps. You talked too. about that last week, yeah. Um, yeah. And that plant, that plant stand is new too. Mm. That orange pot was supposed to hold that orange plant, but the plant is too small. So now it just currently holds um, just random. Plants. Why don't you get more soil? Well, I wasn't planning on potting the plant. I was just going to put it in there to make it look pretty. Oh. Um, I'm no gardener. Mm. Bottoms up, Dave. <laughs> Dude. Actually Sarah, I better. take back my previous comment about alcoholism. Dave, you have a problem. <laughs> Dude, I was like, oh, I can show them. So I put it on quickly. I don't keep it on. Like, it's ready to go, you know? Just saying. You could. You should be the most efficient way to do that yeah i mean yeah i feel like that's what it's kind of like whoever whoever like came up with this they're like oh you don't have to keep twisting this off you can just simply take a sip when you want 
like a little, like a little baby, a little sippy cup. Because all, all those right, babies pull up the it. fucking trivia. Oh. I'm so nervous that I made incriminating comments. I, it's not criminal to flip off a cop. It really isn't. I mean, he could be mad about it. Yeah, he can also go fuck himself. I think Joey made the most incriminating con- um saying that thing, I would hit somebody, saying that he would he would hurt somebody. Oh yeah. So I think that is like what is it's that? It's not called? it's not criminal to say I would. No, because it's, it's like it's like isn't well, it's it premeditated like, now? Yeah, yeah, premeditated murder. Well, I'm not, well, not gonna murder, murder but... somebody. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. Accidents happen. Well, then I don't think it's murder. It's murder oh, assisted. It's... What? Murder or associated. Adjacent. Adjacent. <laughs> I think it's manslaughter if it's not murder. Which sounds way worse, by the way. Manslaughter sounds so much worse than murder. Oh. Fuck is the second oh. one. And <laughs> at this bar we go to um, in Red Jug, they have like stuff on during the weekdays. Um, to like get people in so uh wednesday or tuesday is like trivia night wednesday is dollar drafts and um so one girl texted was like oh are you guys going to dollar drafts and i was like oh yeah yeah i'll be there first rounds on me knowing that they they all know that i have work in like an hour or it was like i was already there or something and um and they're like uh, the one guy was like, all right, I'll, I'll Venmo request you. So like a little bit in from work, I get a request for $13. And I was like, $13? What do we, he was like, we ordered two bomb shots. And I was like, and then he did a, um, a blue, blue moon, which was a dollar 50, a little bougie, I guess. Cause it wasn't a dollar. And I was like, yeah, I'm in a good mood. So I paid for their first. I, I didn't pay him for the blue moon. I paid for the uh, bomb shots. <laughs> I was like, there you go, guys. This is me participating in the in my uh, my dollar drafts because I can never make it. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to pick a number this time because okay. I never do. I'm going to pick um, 26. 9, 12... 15, 18, 21, 24, 26. Which U.S. state's official song is On the Banks of the Wabash Far Away? What? Wabash? Wabash. 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 <laughs> it, yeah. I feel, like this is, I feel like this is a Midwest place. Mm, that's interesting. Uh, on the back. Sorry. On the wanks, or <laughs> on the wanks, wow. <laughs> on the banks of the Wabash far away. You think it's country? Do you think it's southern, Dave? Sarah, where's your region? I was going south. South? I'm thinking Midwest. On the banks. I, I consider Midwest and South to be kind of the same. Uh Am that's I wrong. Able to look at a map? <laughs> uh, they're no. All, <laughs> they're all like kind of they're all like kind of country. I don't think the Midwest is country at all. Yeah, but they're like, you know, like Kansas. That's Midwest, right? Uh, I would consider them to be like... Kansas, I think, might be more south than Midwest. Dude, it's directly above Texas. Yeah. Texas is the south. I and think I I believe it's like dead center. This is also along. this is also not directly above Texas. Yeah, Oklahoma, Oklahoma is Oklahoma. <laughs> and Oklahoma and then, well, either way, I was going to say it's Oklahoma, Kansas, Kansas, Oklahoma, whatever. I have mine. I so I'm like also it. locked in. Okay, I'm going. I'm on the banks. So the one I wish far away. Um. All right. I say Mississippi. Okay, Sarah. I guess I'll stick with my answer, even though my gut. Go with your okay, gut. Kentucky. 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 I went Indiana. Indiana land. <laughs> oh, let's fucking go! 
Woo! I should have never come back. You know, that's Midwest, you know, baby. <laughs> I hate the fact that Joe gets it right. I, 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 don't know, I, don't fact, know, I don't know how the I fuck hate, I do it. I don't know. I, I, don't know. I hate the fact I more than when he, I think Joe he, types it on his phone. I'm I think not. Joe's, I open I, up I, this. Oops, hold on. I open up this page. There it is. And this is every week of trivia. You think Joe cheats? Yep. And I will look okay, at nothing else open on the phone. But so besides the fact of me hating that Joe just got it right, when he gets it right, his reaction just <laughs> makes my butt clench. <laughs> I'm just like because I genuinely can't believe that I get it right sometimes. Like that was a fucking pulled it out of my ass. I was gonna go with Ohio, and I was like, no, let's go a little bit more west. Love it. <sighs> <laughs> I still have to get food from from uh, or money from last week. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Oh, this is the new week, right? I have to put a star next to this thing. <sighs> oh man, I'm not even thinking today. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, dude, and the one girl, she literally had like a bottle of like I don't know what it was called, but eighteen hundred something. Uh, eighteen eighty one. No, no, no eighteen hundred, fucking tequila. Eight one eight. Oh no, I know eight, we got there. We got 1800. there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not straying from my answer, my my <laughs> thing, my number. I knew it was eighteen hundred. Yeah. And she just like cracked it open, you know, like. 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, Pfft. no, thank All you. Right. Um, Dave. Uh, yeah, you can find me. Uh, underscore Dave Strickey underscore, which is my Instagram. Um, D shark one one is my Twitter. Um, and you catch me on SoundCloud mixtape coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's everything. Yeah. And my eat of the week. Um, yep. You know what I'm always afraid of though? Hold on. Let me put this in here. <laughs> Is that like after I, after I have a, a bad day of drinking or throwing up, um, and I, I'm like, I wonder if I'm going to have, like, if I go to eat that same food, that's always my fear. It's never happened to me yeah. where like food tastes different. I know like Fireball, I can't drink that anymore because that's just ugh, makes me want to throw up just thinking about it. Um, oh, oh, did you just have a gag on yeah, a I thought? Just, Dave? I didn't gag. I did not gag. I'm just like, oh, oh okay. Listen, I was. I wasn't. You fucking nearly threw up on a thought. So like, <laughs> you had a straight up just, they just had went, to ugh. hold it back. I was just like, man. But yeah, I knew as soon as I, I was, as soon as the words are coming out of my mouth, I'm like, she's going to say something, but, <laughs> um, but, uh, I think I'm going to go with the boneless chicken wings I had, um, which is what, you know, evidently I did throw up, uh, but yeah, they were, oh no, 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 no. On Sunday, I had a chicken salad. Like at salad Applebee's. with chicken in it? Yes, that is what a chicken From salad. From where? Applebee's. Okay. Which one? The one in West Seneca. No. Uh, what salad? Oh. oh. <laughs> I, <was> like, <laughs> I thought you were talking about where, too. Like, you know, I was like, what do you mean? Um, it was like the um, crisp. No, no. Chicken yep. tender. Yep. Was it crispy? Yep. Or something like that. <laughs> She was gonna say yep no matter what the fuck you said, David. <laughs> yeah, it, it was like it was like uh, crispy chicken with the honey and... mustard. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah, I didn't get honey mustard though. I got ranch. Okay. I don't like honey mustard. I don't like mustard. I couldn't do so... honey mustard on a salad. Yeah, that's not a, that's not so a dressing good. to me. It's so good. Yeah, honey yeah. mustard is a dipping sauce. Yeah. That it's salad so is basically just lettuce and chicken tenders. So. Dude, they got to ease up on the lettuce. Just like, come on, put more chicken. More bacon. Sarah? Yep, Sarah. Um, my Instagram, at Sarah Bayless, two A's. Um, I posted a, a picture on that. Two A's? This weekend. Three A's? Three two A's. Three A's. Triple A. A-A-A. Um, I posted a, 
a picture on that this weekend. I was active on there. That's good. Um, at, you'll see it eventually. I found two more rolls of film. So, <laughs> oh, that Damn. are like unused. Those ones are unused. So, like, I have like. So you got some ammo. Yeah. Will we ever? Will they ever see the light of day? Who knows? Nobody knows. Um, eat of the week. I'm gonna go with. The quesadillas that Jess made for the two of us on Monday, we were both working from home and she was going away for the week. So how nice it must be to work from home or to go away. <laughs> both. Yeah. Oh no. Work from home is basically what I was saying. Um, so she was just like using up whatever food she had left before she left. And she made some bomb chicken quesadillas. Fire. You think I can get like a chicken dilla? Just no queso. I've had a quesadilla with no cheese before. Yeah, That's I just want wrap. the <laughs> uh well it's a wrap if it's wrapped. But it was it was dillard. It was full. How does it stick the fuck together if there's no cheese? I put sauce in it. Okay. I thought you were just talking like chicken and dilla and no, 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 no. I would get like chicken, banana peppers, chipotle sauce. And the chipotle sauce held it together. I guess that's a fair argument. I'm not arguing with the two of you about this today. No. <laughs> it's not a quesadilla. You're, you're absolutely yeah. right about that. It, the, a quesadilla is strictly cheese. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, so, so I was like, can I just get a chicken dill? You guys, neither of you like any type of cheese. Like, no. no there like, are exceptions to the rule. No, but no, no. But either. like a flavor of cheese. Like you yeah. have to eat pizza, correct? Well, yeah. But we don't like mozzarella. We like pizza. Yeah. Like, give me give me a mozzarella stick. I'm not eating it. <laughs> disgusting. Throw it in the garbage. Absolutely yeah. disgusting. You guys are weird. Yeah. Well, yeah. 100 <laughs> percent Um, you can follow me on my photography Instagram at Sharky underscore photography, regular Instagram secret agent Sharky. My YouTube channel at uh Joe Sharky. Um my eat of the week is gotta be the fuck did I have to eat this week? Haven't had a lot. Uh, so it's going to be the Chipotle I got last night because the Chipotle fucking slaps always. I I have o I have only get their uh, pollo asado now. Um, Isn't it limited? You're going to run out of food. Oh, yeah. When it gets when it goes away, I'll just go back to chicken. But like for now, I'm getting the <laughs> pollo asado. It's so good. So fucking good. Had that last night at like 9 p.m. It got here at like 9.45. Um, but I was so happy. Um, as for the podcast, follow us on Twitter at CSG Pod. That's CSG POD. Follow us on TikTok at the Shuffle Podcast. That's where we post our weekly clips. Um, and subscribe on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all at the Shuffle Podcast. Um, thank you guys so much for listening. Thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you guys next week. And next week is my birthday episode, which is fucking wild because I'm turning yeah. old. And I don't like 26. It. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Blue. Yeah. Not a fan. Kind of kind of don't want to make it 26. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm not getting any for the time being. Okay. So shout out. Right. Hopefully I don't get <laughs> sick. Bye, everybody. Not gonna make it. We'll talk to you guys next week. Bye, everybody.